What about you guys, it's Lostro, and welcome to a bit of a different type of video from my channel. Um, I'm going to be showcasing a PC build that I've been working on, and uh, this is my existing PC, well, my old PC, and it's a Corsair Spec 01 MIDI tower case. It's very popular, very affordable, um, but it's just not big enough for what I want to put into a new PC. So I'm going to be showcasing what I'm going to be putting in. So this is what we've got in the inside of the existing one. We've got a 600 watt power supply. We've got a Windforce 970 uh, 4 gig graphics card. We've got a six core AMD processor, and we have got four case fans, eight gig of RAM, and uh, there we go. So this is the parts and case that I'm going to be building with. So we've got 16 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, and it's 3000 megahertz. It's a bit of an upgrade from my 1500, I think, which was in the Kingston 8 gig of RAM I had in the previous one. So it's a nice upgrade from that. Next that, we have the Corsair H110i GTX uh, CPU cooler. It's liquid cooler. Uh, we have a new motherboard, which is a Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 7 motherboard. Very, very nice. And I'll be showcasing that in a little bit more in depth later. We've got a 6700K i7 unlocked. And we've got a one terabyte hard drive as well. Just a standard hard drive, just to go in for recordings. And all of that is going to be going into a new case, which is the Corsair Carbide 600Q, which is an absolute beast. It can just about fit on the table there. So we've got our tools. And I'm going to do a bit of a box opening just so you can see the case coming out of the uh, the box itself. And um, the reason why I've chosen a lot of Corsair parts is because uh, I've used I've used them in the past and I've never ever had any problems with any Corsair parts. Also an important factor when you're uh, building a PC or even just upgrading a PC is research. And watching a lot of videos, uh, all of the parts that I've selected have got excellent write-ups. They're very well um, endorsed by a lot of uh, reviewers and uh, YouTube reviewers that I use. So it was something that I, uh, I wanted to, to use just because I knew that other people trusted them. And that's a really important thing. If you're building a PC, make sure that you are uh, fully confident in the parts that you're buying and don't accept anything but, uh, but the best of what you can afford, I'll say. So here they are side by side and you can immediately see the difference in size um, with the uh, the two cases. The Spec Zero one is a little bit longer, so it does look like it's uh, fairly comparable. But when you go like this, oh, that is a big case. <laughs> There's quite a bit of difference. So that is a, that is a massive, massive case compared to the Spec Zero one, and that's why I've selected it. So on top here, we've got two standard USB ports. We've got two 3.0 USB ports. We've got a mic in, headphones in, and we've got a three way control speed fan switch. We've got a reset and our power uh, button there as well. So uh, let's just take a little look in the inside of this case just to show you exactly what kind of space you get with this. So you've got two thumb screws on either side just to open up the uh, the case. It is all completely made out of uh, aluminium. I believe it's aluminium, it's metal anyway. So opening it up on the back side of the case, what you're presented with are three SSD hard, hard drive bays and you've got two standard hard drive bays as well. And none of these require screws. You just simply slot the hard drives in and they click into place and they're held together by some uh, some brackets. So looking at the uh, the top of the case with our buttons and switches and USB ports, you can see all of the cables are so nicely held together and uh, there's so many different places you can route the cables through this PC that uh, it really isn't a problem with space or, uh, or maneuvering your cables and trying to keep it all tidy. There's so much room and... Uh, and little, uh, little loops to put your cable ties through and all that sort of business. And as you can see, there's the hard drive bays and they just sort of slot out and slide out and, and all sorts. So it's all good. Um, I'm not putting any in, any kind of DVD drive into it. And I'm going to go into a little bit more depth in that a little bit later. We've got our uh, power supply bay at the back there. And then just opening up on this side as well. Um, if we take a look at this, you should get a good idea of just how volumetric um, the PC is but I'll just quickly mention this this is the inside of the case and on both panels you've got this soundproofing um, which is amazing and it's another reason why I bought the case was just um, that it, it's I don't know if it's called cube just because it's supposed to be quiet but it's very quiet and we're going to do a sign test on that later so as you can see it's massive there's so much room in here and um, it comes fitted uh, with two really nice Corsair fans. They're sort of rubberized, so they're really, really quiet. You don't have to worry about sound with the uh, the standard case fans, which is great, so you don't have to buy any more. They also give you an extra fan as well, I should mention, which is really nice. It's in the case, and it comes with a little thank you note saying, here's an extra fan just in case you need it. And uh, of course, I'm gonna stick that in. So, so let's take a look at the motherboard just briefly. So as I said, this is the Gigabyte Z170X. 
And um, normally they, they go for about £175 on, uh, on Amazon, I think it is. And uh, there's the installation disc. Now, one thing I should mention, because I'm not using a DVD drive, um, I had to put all of the drivers onto a USB, as you can see, a wee Kingston jobby. And uh, another thing I had to do is, because obviously I don't have a uh, disk drive, and there may be some conflictions with the motherboard and the RAM and everything that I'm putting in and the new core processor, um, I had to put Windows on a USB as well. So so let's take a little look at the, uh, the uh, awesome, it looks like an F1 racing car doesn't it it's amazing looking uh the motherboard and uh yeah it's it's such a pretty looking uh, motherboard it seems a shame not to have a window in the case but uh, i'm not really into uh to fancy looking cases anymore um i'll certainly recommend any if you if you want to ask me any questions about something you want to build with then I'll, I'll let you know but um i bought it on ebay and it cost 100 pounds and uh, it came i mean it's in mint condition for uh it's i think it was probably on show somewhere but um really really nice and uh, that's the corsair uh, bracket for the cooler that we're going to mount on the back of this as well. So there you go. Okay, so this is it all built. I'm not going to show you uh, all the other rest of the parts. I want to try and keep the video quite short. So as you can see, it all fitted in nicely. I've done my cable management. It should look uh, should look quite appealing. It's a shame, as I say, there's no window, but uh, I think uh, noise reduction is really what I'm after with this build. So you see the power going to the uh, model board and all, so it's it's ready to go. I'm going to turn it on in a wee second, uh, and then I'm going to do a bit of a sound test, and you'll be able to hear just how quiet this machine is is one thing i should really mention as well is this is an inverted atx case meaning that uh the power supply is at the top and not at the bottom and that's to uh, apparently help with airflow although i don't think there's much difference between a standard atx case and an inverted atx case in terms of cooling um they'll both do roughly the same if you put in the same sort of components so we've got our cooler on the bottom and it's going to suck in air from underneath the pc and force it up but let's get it turned on so you can see how it runs so we've got five fans um six if you include the psu uh fan which is uh, again the power supplies normally suck air from uh, underneath the machine and then force it at the back this is actually sucking air from the inside of the machine and then forcing it at the back so it's a bit more efficient i think that way but that's it on and the camera phone is right pretty much right up to the case so very quiet very very quiet it was worryingly quiet when i first turned it on um the motherboard there is reading six fahrenheit which is ridiculously cool um i don't think there's any need for the uh the five fans but uh i uh i think that it'll last a long time having all those fans anyway so there you go i could probably chill a beer in there anyway very nice very very nice all the fans are the same corsair fans so uh on the top here i've wired up the fan speed control so let's just turn it up that's number two a little bit louder you can hear so you can hear it. it's very quiet and then again you can actually hear it now and the side I should also mention I've put the side on the case here so there, at the front of the case you've got those massive intakes and they're gonna suck air from the front of the PC fire it back and then with the air coming up from underneath, um, and then the airflow pushing out of the back, it should keep the case really, 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 really cool. So there you go. Super quiet. Does exactly what I want it to do. And that is just nice and quiet so I can do recordings. And you shouldn't hear my PC dying in the background from exhaustion. But now, a really important question. How does it work with games? Well... This is Hitman and this is Sapienza. This is the latest uh, level as I'm recording of, uh, of Hitman and it's running on full, pretty much full. There's a few settings that are like you need, I don't know what kind of machine you'd need to run them, but uh, it's all like anti-aliasing uh, times 16 and things like that. Um, so this is, uh, this is it pretty much running at full anyway. So pretty impressive. It does a really good job. I'm averaging it out at about, um, I think it's about sort of 50 to 60 FPS consistently and uh, that's really really cool um, it's a lot better than my previous build with the AMD core processor and obviously there wasn't enough RAM really to, to run games like this so uh, I'm very impressed with it anyway so let's take a look at some of the games anyway I'll be quiet and you can, uh, you can experience it firsthand
So there you go, guys. Um, I think uh, I think we'll leave it here in a minute second. Doom is awesome, by the way. Um, but it's a bit different, this video, from my channel. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment below and uh, show me some love for it. And uh, I'll hopefully see you in the next one.